its path. A deadly rampage stretched for more than a mile, leaving one of the busiest areas of that city littered with bodies. Police believe it was an intentional act, but so far they haven't seen any evidence of international terrorism. Ten people were killed and 15 injured. The driver was arrested after a dramatic standoff with police. The Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, is calling it a tragic and senseless attack. He plans a press conference and a statement later on this morning. We get more now from ABC's Tommy Amos in Toronto. The race to save lives after the deadly van attack. At least 10 dead and more than a dozen wounded after a driver in this white van jumped the curb, plowing through pedestrians on a major street in Toronto. Vehicle, personal injury, intersection of Young Street and French Avenue. It was lunchtime, just before 1.30 p.m. The van, driving 16 blocks, nearly a mile and a half, Ranning into people again and again. He just went on the sidewalk. He just started hitting everybody, man. He hit every single person on the sidewalk. Anybody in his way would hit. The bus stop, everything got shattered. There was a lady in there that I saw. I just stopped and I looked and I just went after it again. All I see is just crumbling up one by one. Eyewitnesses describing a scene of pure panic. Everyone started running and screaming and he hit this one lady and she went flying. Then he hit another lady. Dropping. Police finally cornering the van. Investigators are now scouring the video of the standoff that came next. The driver pulling an object from his pocket, pointing it at an officer, staring him down with this warning. And as police try to reason with him, the driver with a plea. That didn't happen. The officer took him down, handcuffing him on the pavement. Officers taking him into custody. With this unfolding, swarms of first responders racing to the scene, finding multiple victims already being triaged by Good Samaritans. There was four bodies on the ground. Police and the ambulance hadn't arrived yet, but uh, people were trying to revive them. A grim scene. Victims lying all over the street. Bodies covered with orange tarps. Shoes left abandoned in the middle of the street. The injured loaded onto stretchers and raced to nearby hospitals. Right now, we have under arrest Alex Manassian, age 25. Police still searching for a motive behind the mayhem. Canadian officials are calling this a horrific attack, and they have also identified the driver who was behind the wheel as 25-year-old Alex Manassian from the Richmond Hill section of Toronto, but is most...